Hi, my name's Darren Frost and we're here today at Western Pool Fisheries in Oswestry. Street. And I just want to show you today a really good tactic for catching um, carp and F1s in short sessions on commercial fisheries. So all you need for this session is a, a bag of 4mm feed pellets, which you can get from the on-site tackle shop. Um, also, I've got a handful of 6mm uh, hard pellets and a few 4 and 6mm expanders, but literally a handful of each is enough. So uh, we'll start on the top kit setup. Um, very simple, uh, 10 to 12 elastic through the top two sections, um, set, set reasonably loose. Uh, then a, a kinder pot, but the kinder pot's got to be right on the end of the pole. I've seen a lot of anglers, they set the, the kinder pot too far back, they might have it six, eight, ten inches away from the end of the float. Um, so what's happening is when you're cupping your bait in, it's too far away from where your hook bait is. You need it to be really, really accurate. So right on the end of the pole. So rigs are simplicity itself. Um, it's a 0.14 diameter main line. I've got a 0.4 float on um, with a hollow bristle. I've got a strung bulk of number 10 shots down to a 0.13 diameter hook length with a size 18 hook and a bait band on it to put a banded pellet and that's it. So now we come to where we're going to fish. So there's a few areas to target. Um, the first area to talk about is at uh, the bottom of the near shelf. So right in front of me I found the bottom of the shelf and I'm going to just throw some pellets there. Just odd 4 mil pellets. It's, uh, it's early in the year, I mean we've had a frost the last couple of nights so we're, it's still early, we're not going to be putting a lot in, we're just going to be putting threes and four pellets there, just trying to draw an odd fish in there with a view to maybe catching a few more later in the session. So and when we're going to start is further out. It's, uh, today I'm fishing a top kit plus another three sections onto the flat bed of the lake and we're just going to be putting some four mil pellets in there. Um, and fishing a, a six mil pellet, hard pellet over the top. The other area we can target is the margins. Still a bit early to catch a huge amount of fish in the margins, but there is still an odd one to be had, so we're gonna feed there today as well. This time of year with pellets, um, it's very important not to feed too many. Uh, the fish are not really going berserk. They, they, they're waking up from the winter and they want something to eat, but they're not going absolutely mad. So what we're doing is we're putting small amounts of bait in, but regular. Um, if, you, if you go in there and put big pots full of bait in, the fish will just shy away from that. So little amounts of bait, but quite often. So now we've started the session and uh, you, you're laying your rig in. So the first time you lay your rig in, tap some bait into the water. Remember we talked about the importance of, of your hook bait being right in amongst the, the loose offerings. And what we do is we lift lift the bait out of the water, your free offerings are going down and then what you're trying to do is to get that, that hook bait in amongst those loose offerings, follow it down to the bottom very very slowly and then make sure that that bait is really really static. You're tending to fish the bait at dead depth um, so, so that when you get any, any registration on the, on the bait you'll see it on the float instantly. When you get a bite, it's important to remember not to strike really, really hard, especially if you're fishing with expander pellets. You strike hard with an expander pellet, it's gone. And you might be striking at liners or, or very, very quick bites that you're not going to hit. So if you just lift the, the, the pole, literally six, eight inches is enough to set the hook on normal occasions. Just lift it up. If the fish is not on, you can lower it back in and you're fishing instantly again. Um, and hopefully that fish is still there waiting for you. If you're getting bites, everything's simple. You stay on the same spot, you get a bite every chuck and hopefully you're filling your net. But when you're not getting bites, you, we talked about the different areas to fish and sometimes you need to rotate all them areas to keep them bites coming. You might go on a short line, you might catch one fish, two fish and then it dies on you, the fish won't come back there. So put a little bit of bait there, leave it alone for a while, try the longer line, hopefully you'll catch one or two there and then come back to the shorter line. And then later in the session, generally later in the session, you'll catch closer in. So that shorter line and also your marginal lines will come into it more later in the sessions. But it's very important when you're not getting bites to rotate them swims and try and keep them bites coming. So there you go. Very, very simple way of, of having a great day's fishing on no more than a bag of pellets and a, and a few hooker pellets.